Yes, I'm from East Seng, uh, driving instructor in all class driving school and today I'm telling you about the uh, coupling and coupling uh, procedure according to the MELT program and this video will help uh, new drivers also to do coupling and coupling safely and securely. So let's show you the steps, so what we have to check. First of all, we check our truck level has to be on a level ground. There should be no obstruction at all any time. We can walk through around the trailer. So, as we start our coupling and coupling, we check our first four points. Uh, we call I call it as it is a black abbreviation B L A K, and B uh, basically stands from top of the wheels. So we can use either two axles. Do not use your hands. Why? Because you don't want to step there. So keep the wheel chocks out a little bit so that you can use the heel to take it out. You can also use one axle like this. The same procedure. Now we we are doing the landing gear pull part. So we have a landing gear here with, with the two gears. One is a small the other one is a high, so we have to figure out which one. So basically we go with this, handle goes into this, we lock it and then we start cranking it. Make sure it's going down, put your hand for the safety purpose, you don't want to hit with the handle. bad way. This is a good way to put it. Use it on the side. Put your foot over here on the tire. Use a jerk. Now make sure it's not going back. If this bolt is out, that proves you the Kingston lock is open. The jaws are open but it's not fully open yet. Now we'll start the truck and move the truck a little bit just to clear our pin pin from our fifth wheel. Alright, so I'm gonna start the truck. Air ride is going down. 
It's creating a little gap in between trailer and the fifth wheel. And also, as you can see, the kingpin is out from the fifth wheel. All right. So now our fifth wheel is is literally clear from the trailer. But we want to make sure that if we go out, our trailer is safe and secure. So we remove the truck, not the full truck out from the trailer. We're gonna use this tire as our reference. So when this car comes out from the trailer, we will stop and come back and make sure that our trailer is safe and secure. lift up my air suspension so now I'm gonna start the coupling procedure how are we gonna do the coupling we're gonna make sure that our truck and trailer is secure so I secured my truck and I'm gonna make sure my trailer is also secure as a new driver you always look for your wheel blocks which should be gone in the real world you also check the brake chambers and also check if the trailer has the air right. So if the trailer don't have the air right, some of the trailer do have the air right, some they don't. All right, so always before coupling and coupling, make sure you have an air right trailer or you don't have an air right trailer. So as you see, this trailer has an air right. So since there is no valve to dump the air, so we're going to use it as it is. So we made sure our blocks are there. It's blocked. We made sure the CT sticker is valid. Right? And we made sure our kingpin apron, we check both sides. This should be well greased. No damage at all. If you find any damage, report it. And after that, we check our truck part. Your fifth wheel should be well greased. There should be no damage, no debris on top. And the jaw should be open. And look around, everything is perfectly, nothing broken, no, nothing damaged. All right? So when we, once we inspect everything, so we're gonna bring our truck back to the trailer, all right?
trick is we have to align our truck with the trailer. So while looking at our bigger mirrors, we're making sure this tire is parallel to this line. And now what I did, I dumped the air suspension. So now the quick tool is going down. So now I'm ready to get inside. Always use your three-point contact. basically locked. We're going to confirm with the examiner the jaws are locked and then we're going to connect the airlines back on. You can start from anywhere. Check the rubber condition. 90 degree angle with this rubber to rubber contact. Make sure it's contacted there. Rubber is good. Make sure this lock is there. Now we're going to check the air supply. So we apply the trailer air supply now. We will check the any leakage. Any awful leakage. We're going to make sure that all the brakes chambers are releasing the brakes. We're going to Make sure the tank is filling the, is getting filled with the air. We're gonna make sure our all the air bags are getting up. Now, once we confirm that thing, we will apply the trailer brakes again. Coupling is finished, so last two parts, we're going to make sure our landing gear is up. The same procedure. Now this time, use this hand, that hand, 